what's going on guys uh, on today's video uh, I'm gonna be installing a Corvette servo on my uh, 4L60E transmission um, I'm just gonna uh, basically I'm gonna show you the steps I mean I'm not a professional but it's pretty easy um, so here we have the uh, Corvette servo and this is the stock one so I already took the first um, uh, I guess this is what allows the place in place the uh, servo so in order to do that what I did is I just use a play bar push it in and with a screwdriver I took that out and now it's a, it's a little loose but it won't come out and it won't come out because inside I don't know if you can see but right here there's an uh, there's a o-ring right here which we need to get it uh, we need to cut it out in order to pull the servo sorry I was blocking the view so Ah, there we go so now I just need to uh, cut it and pull one side and this whole unit it should come out okay I had to set the camera down because two hands work better than one hand There you go. It comes out really easy. I mean, obviously, in my case, it's much easier because my whole engine and transmission is out. But shouldn't be that hard if you have it in your uh, car, truck, whatever. Now I'm gonna go ahead and first I'm gonna put the spring. There you go. There we go. You hear the the sound. Now it's in. Now we gotta put the lock. Let's see if I can try to do this. You guys heard the click, that means the servo is in the place now. It's all the way in and that's it. So, I mean, literally it took me like two or three minutes, I'll say. So it's really 
easy to do so i can wait to get the engine transmission back in it so i can so i can see the difference what the server is gonna do so stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching